Today I'm going to show you how to make your own mobile game app in literally just a few minutes for free using AI. Now I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to make this app, how to customize it to your liking and how you could actually publish and play this game. First up, we're going to head over to ChatGPT. Now, I just want to make a simple four in a row game, but replace this with any game you want, really, as long as it's pretty simple. So I just said, I'm making a four in a row mobile app game in CodePen. Please give me the mobile responsive HTML, CSS and JavaScript code needed to make this app. Now, if you are going to use CodePen like we are, make sure to include that so it will always give you the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code separately. So just hit enter and there we go. Next, you want to go over to codepen.io and sign up for free using any account. Once you're logged in, you're going to go over here and just click on pen. And as you can see, we have our HTML, our CSS and our JavaScript boxes here. So you just want to head back over to ChatGPT, hit copy code on HTML, pop it in the HTML box and do the same with the other two. And this is what it made. As you can see, it looks pretty good, except that we do not see the actual circles that are supposed to go in here. So when you encounter something like this, you just go back to ChatGPT and you explain the problem that you're having. So I just said, I don't see any colored circles. So copy this new code, paste it into the appropriate one. Let's get rid of this first, paste it in. And we definitely have circles now that go to the bottom. However, no one seems to be winning. So we go back, you say, great, thanks. There's actually been a study saying that if you are nice to ChatGPT, that it will give you better results. So always be nice to it. I just say, great, thanks. However, no player seems to win. It just keeps going. So it seems like it just forgot to change the placeholder to an actual function. So we're going to copy this new code. So in our case, we want to head over to this function check win area and we want to replace this entire thing with our new code. So just control V and let's see if it works now. It should give us a win on this next one. There we go, player one wins and it automatically resets itself. So now we can customize the app how we want so i just said perfect thanks can we give the game a nice gradient background that will contrast well with the blue and red game pieces and it gave me this code now it gave it to me in html but we want to have it separately in the css portion basically the css is for anything to do with the styling of your game so i just said can you put it in the css code instead so that's what it did we'll copy this code and after replacing the whole css with that new code this is what we get looks a little bit weird but you can change it as you like by changing these two color codes now I think we should make this text over here white and a little bigger as well. So let's just ask it to do that. So you literally just tell it what you want. I said, thanks. The text at the bottom saying was turn it is. I'd like it bigger and in white, please. And we just copy this code, remove all the CSS and copy it in there. There we go. Now it's white. If we want, we can make the actual circles white as well. To do that, you just scroll up, you go to cell and we see the border color here is number 333. We're going to change that to six Fs and that will be white. There we go, it looks great. So as you can see, you can just change literally anything you want. Keep asking ChatGPT, keep putting it in. Now to actually publish and play this game, we're gonna have to upload it to a hosting platform first. So first in CodePen down here, you wanna head over to export and hit export zip. That's gonna download our zip file for us. So first we wanna extract the folder that is in this zip. After doing that, we want to go into the folder and then into the SRC. Then we want to edit this index.html file. Now you can do that with any code editor or you can even do it with the normal Windows Notepad. I'm going to be using Notepad++ though. And there's just two little things you want to check. You want to check that these two file names are both represented correctly here. So we have our style.css, but in the index.html, it actually has an S on it. So we want to remove that S so it has the right file name. The same for the script.js, that one's fine. We've done that, just want to save it and that's it. It might give you this old version. We can just delete that and there we go. Now what you want to do is delete the old zip and we want to create a new zip file from this folder that we just edited. So I'm just going to go to 7-zip, add to archive, make it a zip, hit OK. There we go, that's our game. Now we're actually going to host our game. Now you can use any hosting service. I'm going to go to tinyhost, link in the description just make a free account and you will be here now we're going to hit upload and we can actually just drag and drop our zip file in there now you're going to give it a name four in a row dot tiny dot site of course you can add your own custom domain to this we're just going to hit publish there we go within a few seconds we have our site we can go to view site and there it is completely functional working four in a row game so to actually turn this into a mobile app, we're going to turn this into an Android app because that's the easiest to do. Because on Android, you can actually install a game without going to the App Store, but you can definitely publish this in the App Store as well. So to turn it into an app, you want to go to webintoapp.com and we're going to hit get started. Now we can give it the online URL or our HTML files. If you use the files option, you're actually going to have to put all these files in the root of the zip. So you can just add these to an archive and upload that. 
but it's way easier to just grab the site we just made and just paste our link into the online URL. Next, we want to give our app a name. We're just going to go four in a row. You can change your company name and we can give our app an icon. Now you can go to a site like freeicons.io to get an icon or we can go to Canva and create our own. Now the icon has to be 512 by 512 pixels. So do that. And they actually have a four in a row icon here. So we're just going to enlarge that. And there we go. Download that. Go back to the app maker and choose our newly downloaded icon. There we go. Hit next. And there we go. We can get the Android app for free. Hit make app. Now you have to register an account. Just do that. And once again, we'll hit make app. Once it's done, you can hit this download icon over here and hit download free. Download all files as a zip. And once we have that, we're going to extract that zip again. Now in the Android folder, there will be an app release.apk. That's the actual game file that you you can install on your Android device. So we're just going to send that over to our Android phone. Now you can do that in any way you want. Google Drive is probably the easiest. You can even email this to yourself. So let's head over to my phone. So we're going to head over to my files and to Google Drive to download the APK that we just uploaded. And there it is, the app release.apk. So there's our app. We can't actually install any apps from Google Drive straight away. So first we want to move it to our normal phone storage. So just long press on it and tap on move. Then we're going to go back to internal storage. I'm just going to throw it in here. This will download it off our Google Drive into our phone storage. There it is at the bottom. Now we can just tap that and hit package installer. Now you might get this pop-up message saying your phone isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. So you want to just go to settings and enable the my files section. Then we can hit install. Now the app is blocked. We can hit install anyway. And there we go. We can open our app now. And there is our app. Now I have a bit of a strange phone. I've got the Galaxy Z Flip 3, so my phone screen is a little bit less wide than normal phones, but I've tried this on a normal dimensions phone and it looks great. Anyway, here's our app. It's completely usable. As you can see, it's just sitting on our home screen, a fully functional app. Now you can publish this in the Google Play Store, which is completely free, I believe. For the iOS App Store, it is not free. Just give it a quick Google if you wanna do that. Otherwise you can just share this package with your friends and play the game like that. Anyway, that was the video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Giving this video a like would help me out immensely. Thanks guys, see you next time.